Hey, so I haven't uploaded on this channel in like a really long time and something I actually started picking up a couple months ago was guitar. Uh, I actually only have a classical one so uh, it's a little funky learning on a classical because um, they're actually meant for finger picking and I don't really know how to finger pick unless you count this as finger picking. Uh, that's not finger picking. Uh, okay. But yeah, this channel is back, and with the guitar tutorial. Um, thank you for making other stuff too. I'll probably mention in like a future video, like a channel update or whatever like that. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. So, what you're gonna want is, um, so Prince and Hyena, they usually tune down their songs half a step down, but you actually, you could just leave it in standard tuning, it's fine um, for this one. And you, I recommend a creep on the first, you actually don't really need it. But it does help with the little riff, this little like cute riff at the beginning, and they also play during the bridge, I think. So it goes like this. Hey guys, so I just changed the angle a bit so you can get a better look of where my hands are at, both of them, like when I'm plucking and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about everything in terms of the capo. So when I say like like third fret, I mean this fret, not this one. But yeah, capo one first. But anyway, so you start off with open B, open G. Open B, uh, third fret high E, second fret, open high E, third fret B, first fret B, open. Okay, now do G B, third fret high E, second fret high E, third fret high E, slide up to seventh, fifth, third. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. It should sound like this. So um, the good thing about this riff is actually really beginner friendly. If you really wanted to, you could just do it one finger the entire way. Like you could just do this, like. Okay, so the chords involved in this track is, um, so relative to the capo, this would be G, this would be D, E, and C. But um, I think in reality, like without the capo, this would be like G sharp, D sharp, F, and C sharp. You don't have to worry about that if you don't really know the note names. How I usually like to think of it is um, I'll just look at the capo and be like, okay, this is third fret of the E um, power chord, uh, fifth fret of the A power chord, seventh fret of the A power chord, and then third fret of the A power chord. That's how I usually like to think of it anyway. Uh, I don't really memorize it. But anyway, this shape right here, um, they call this like an L shape type of deal because it's a shape that's really commonly used in like rock, um, grunge songs, like those alternative um, rock songs. And so if you do know that one, it'll help you greatly because um, there's actually a lot of songs that use this. And then, so if you know this one shape, then you'll know basically a bunch of other songs. So what you do is you go from here, 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 and then you just strum away. I think it's about 16 times. You don't really have to count each one like, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You just kind of feel it, um, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, it should be able to sound like this. And then you switch. fast but um, the song itself is pretty fast so um, you want to keep up with that tempo uh, but yeah so that's basically it there's a couple of variations too like in the verse it's a little stripped down and then um, it's mostly strum with some palm mute uh, not palm mute sorry um, some chicka chicka <laughs> some chicka chicka that's what they're called there's no official name for this uh, or I guess you could call them strumming muted strings uh, in the verse it sounds like this Okay, so if you want to do like that rhythmic muted strum sound in the verse that they have, it's like this. So you go down, down, up, 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 down. Oops, I kind of 
mess up a little bit there, but basically it would sound like this during the verse when you're playing it. Okay, so in like the bridge section of the song, I believe, um, where the guy is singing, hey, you've had a long damn day at work. You have two options, I'd say. Uh, you can either do like a palm mute or like... You can do like a palm muted because that's what I hear in the background. Or you can try to match along with the melody, which I prefer, um, where you just go like, hey, You've had a long damn day at work, but you still got paid less than dirt. So I prefer doing that one because I think it's kind of cool when you, the voice goes, I mean, when the melody goes along with like the words you're singing. Um, but yeah, you could just do like a palm music. Like... Okay, so right after when the singer screams out those lyrics, you still get paid less than dirt. What would normally happen is that the electric guitar would kick on distortion and start wailing away at these same power chords. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, but you're probably playing on acoustic as well. And uh, you'd really just do the same thing, except of course no distortion. You're playing on acoustic. Duh. <laughs> but um, what happens is that there's four quick downward strums here for this uh, power chord. It's a third fret from the E. And then... You do three here, I hear three on the record, and four, and one, and then you like, you really just start like going ham on these chords. But anyway, that's what it sounds like it goes. Oh, whoops, <laughs> that was the wrong one. carried away but you get the point okay so after you've chugged away at those chords for like two full rounds you know the like two full times what you could do is you could either choose to do one more or you can do it just like how on the record does it and how they do is um they just do one strum and it ends on a single like that not sustained but like not, not like this but like and it's like that uh, so basically, the timing of that is, I know it ruins the vibe and flow, but we all know that life can blow. It's like that. So the emphasis is on ruins, flow, no, life, blow. So that's how I remember it. I know you can just count beats and stuff like that, but... Uh, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm not really the type to do that one. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit rhythmically challenged, but um, I, I should probably play with a metronome and then, like, you know, observe beats and stuff like that. You know, I, I bet this is like, what, four beats apart, but I remember it by the emphasis on the words. Um, but, you know, I just do what works, and, um, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. This song is really not too hard to play. Uh, I truly want to show you, like, exactly what goes in, like, every single part. Um, like, you know, the little palm mutes and like the riff. Um, I actually haven't seen a tutorial on this song at all. So, yeah, maybe I'll catch you later. More guitar videos, maybe like a skit in the future. Uh, see ya.